Hi beauties, welcome to my channel, HI Beauty by Yulia. I'm Yulia and I'm your virtual beauty therapist. I have been working as a beauty therapist for over 10 years now, so skincare is my passion, but it is my job as well. I hope you enjoyed this channel. If you do so, please consider subscribing to it, give this video a thumbs up, check out the rest of my videos, find me in social media, in TikTok and Instagram as well, and follow me for more beauty content. Today the video is about Gua Sha. And I wanted to show you how I use it, what technique I use, and why I actually enjoy that much using it. A lot of brands are offering different types of stones, different types of shapes of the uh, tool. So a lot of people are a bit confused which one is the best, is there any difference, why one is costing £10, the other one is costing £150. And also how exactly to use it in order to benefit but not irritate, say, your skin. Because this is also possible if you're not using the tool right. Although nowadays... So Almost everyone is getting gua sha for their face. The truth is that the tool started to be used in Chinese medicine and it is used mainly for the body. So they believe that if there's any problem with your chi, anywhere you have tension, they have to break out any knots in order for the energy flow to improve and your general health to improve as well. So if you had gua sha performed by professional for your body or your scalp, you know that it is not pleasant. There's a lot of scraping going on. You can get bruised even. By all means, it is super efficient, but it is not very pleasant. Um, so this is something that you have to bear in mind. When we talk about facial care, it's completely different because you have to be very gentle. And if you have it done by professional, it is very pleasant and you will see huge improvement of your skin. So that's the whole point I wanted to really highlight. There is difference between the body care and the body tool, even in size sometimes. The one for the body is larger as well, and the one that is for the face. Once again, it is super efficient both for the body and for the face. The technique of use is very different, however. Is the material important for you too? Yes and kind of no. I do think that more important is the product that you will use in your technique rather than the tool itself and I want to explain why. So the tool that I have is plastic. It was very kindly gifted to me by Abib and by YesStyle and it was part of a set. So I don't have any other because in my opinion, because of the constant contact with the skin on the face and the hand, although this tool is much larger, it just warms up whatever the stone is and that's why I haven't got anything. Now you can have something like obsidian, rose quartz, uh, jade, even stainless steel. For stainless steel I do think that it might be able to retain low temperature for much longer time so it might be a good idea i might have a look on it and try to get one to see if there's any difference for the stones if you do believe that different stone is going to affect your energy in different way by all means get it i see a lot of different companies that are advertising that this stone is anti-aging and the other one is for acne and i don't agree with this i don't think that um <laughs> anything related with like a the stone of your gua sha is going to improve your wrinkles because it's this stone and it, not the other one. So for me this is a nonsense. But yes, uh, some stones are I have uh, tiny pores like the jade one, so they're a bit more difficult to keep clean and they warm up a bit quicker. Some like the rose quartz can retain their temperature for a little bit longer, so you might have a look for something like this. As I said, for me, I just got the plastic one and that's it. The main because reason why you can see visual difference when you perform gua sha is because if there's any fluid when you do the treatment well, it will be removed from this area. So if there's a lot of fluid in this area over here, around the jawline, it will give you better jawline. But this is something that is related with fluid retention. It is not related with difference of your muscle structure or anything like this. And usually it is not something that will stay like this forever. So you have to bear in mind this. 
There's a few important things before you start with your treatment, your self-treatment. The first one is the prep of your tool. So when I use my tool, I use it, then I wash it, I clean it with alcohol and I put it away. Before I use it, I also clean it once again. Some of your uh, dead skin cells might end up on it, some of the product might end up on it, and you just want a very nice and clean tool. Also, you want very nice and clean skin. So I don't have any makeup, I cleanse my face. Having their thermal water, nice and easy. This is something I carry in my bag. I've been using it for years and I love it. So with page prep, okay. Then I use a serum and I'm going to use this one from Papa Recipe. It's their blemish serum. I've been using it for three days, I can't say that much about it but for now I have been absolutely loving it I just have to highlight the fact that it's a serum and it's 150 milliliters so it's a huge bottle for a serum this is with uh, hemp seed oil my skin is dry so this is oil that I love if your skin is oily or combination you want something with lighter texture you can have a look on uh, hoba you can have a look on something like grapeseed oil and rose hip oil as well because they have very light type of texture okay this is what we're going to use don't forget dropper over the face not a good idea you don't want to touch your product with your skin so i put a lot and we're gonna rub it all over okay so I am very generous with it because I want the product to glide. There are a few important things that you have to bear in mind when you do the treatment. First is to make sure that you have enough product. You don't want to drag the tool over your skin. You want it to glide the pressure. You don't want to use a lot of pressure. Yes, it feels nice, but you don't want to irritate your skin. Especially if it is a bit more sensitive, you will see that uh, when I use it, I get red on the face a little bit less because I use less pressure. But on my shoulders and the back of my neck, I get really red because I use a bit more um, pressure. So be gentle, especially with your face. And you have to bear in mind the direction of the way that you are performing your treatment and also the angle for the tool. So I am aware that a lot of people will use it like this, so it's almost like 90 degrees, but this is not the right way to perform your treatment. So what I mean is that you don't do it like this, or let's say like this, okay? You may not feel it, but it is quite harsh for the skin. And the it. other thing that I found very pleasant is that when you finish with the stroke, you want to use it as a pressure point so it's like acupuncture, acupuncture for certain areas and I will show you what I mean. Obviously there are a lot of tools from point of view as shapes. They are intended for specific areas sometimes. You can see gua sha for your brows, gua sha for your jawline. It might be a difference but I think this is quite easy and because of its shape you can actually adjust it to different areas. So I don't see the point of having 10 different shapes because it, you will end up using one or two anyways. So I'm going to turn around and I will show you how it works. I start from down here and I go up and then I use a bit of pressure on those points because usually there's a lot of pressure over here. You can use this one or you can use this one it is up to you once again you want it to glide okay 
you can see that I'm getting pinkish now. We do the other side. For the neck, we use this pad and you start down, go up and press. Now for the middle, obviously if you want to use this pad it's fine, but I think this one is much better whether you're male or female, it just doesn't feel very nice to use a lot of pressure here so you use like this press So we continue with the face. I will start with this part of my tool and we do the jawline. So you start from here. You can use it this way, like this, or like this, it's up to you, I use it both. The main thing is, as I said, the angle. You don't do 90 degrees, you do 15 this way or 15 this way. You will use this, the shorter side, and we do it like this. And it feels divine. If you want, you can do this one and then you can turn it around like this. It is up to you. The more the merrier. It obviously depends on your time as well. If you will be using this uh, pack, you do it like this. You start from the nose and the angle of the mouth and you go up and you press. Seriously, even if it didn't have any defense on my skin, I would have done it. The fact that you are draining all the lymph, the fact that you're improving the blood circulation just makes you feel so much better. Now with the area around the eyes you have to be super duper gentle the skin is very sensitive, it is much thinner, so be gentle. We're going to use once again this pad, so we do it like this. And we press.
Once again, I use this pad and I'm very, very gentle. get back to the middle we stop like this and we check out. then I'm gonna move it like this and we're gonna do it once again but in this manner Continue with the rest of the forehead. You can do one more line here if you want to. You can use this part. Feels very nice because this one will go over here on the temples. Do the same on the other side. For most people, this will be the end of your treatment. For me personally, because I was doing uh, my professional training and there was included uh, lymphatic training of the face. Uh, there was a part that once when you remove all the fluid from the face to where the hairline obviously there's the channels going down towards here. So the last bit for me personally is when you start from above and now you move it down. This is the only time that I go from up down. Usually as you saw I start from the jawline and I go up so this is to remove everything basically from the hairline down and I do it just three times and that's it you can have a look on my face I sure hope for this video for my own good to be less puffy now it feels very nice and it's not just about your skin but also as I said we carry a lot of tension all over from here up so the fact that you can break it down you can relax the muscles you can remove the extra fluid you can improve the blood circulation is going to improve your skin as well so the whole glowing might be related with the products that you start with but the fact that you're using the tool to massage your face is going to improve your skin at last. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm definitely going to do a face roller type of uh, facial <laughs> tutorial if you want to say. And I also recently got eyes gloves that I have been loving and I didn't thought I would, but I do. So you can stay tuned and subscribe to the channel for those videos as well. I'm definitely going to do some. And you can of course find me and follow me in Instagram and TikTok for more beauty content. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I hope I see you next week. Have a lovely, lovely day.